Hey, what's going on everyone? Michael back with another video. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a Teams meeting in the Teams application. So, to start off, you want to go to... There's a few different ways, actually. I'll show you the simplest way. So, let's say we want to create a new meeting with, the, you know, a few team members or people in different departments. We will go ahead to the calendar on the left-hand side. And as you can see, we have a calendar. So, we will schedule... Let's do, let's say I want to schedule a meeting on Monday. So you can either click the new meeting up top or you can go to the time slot and it's uh, every 30 minute interval. So as you can see, when I move my cursor around, it will highlight that 30 minute interval. So let's say I want to schedule a meeting on Monday at 10 a.m. And this will be marketing overview. Just uh, anything you really want to name it. Required attendees. So you have two options. You have required people, and then you can also have optional people. The optional people would be like if they really don't need to be in the meeting, but it's nice to have them along. So <laughs> let's go ahead and add Bob, and we'll add Abby Brown as optional. So it will show you the date, the time. If you want to switch this, you can feel free. Go ahead and switch it. Uh, we'll set it back to 10, 1030. Um, you can switch it all day if you want right there. And if you want this meeting to repeat, so if you want to have a meeting every Monday with your team, uh, you can set this to weekly. But I will not set it to weekly because I do not want it to repeat. But you can set it weekly, monthly, yearly. Uh, you can add a channel if you want to. But um, we won't do that. So if you're on site, you know, in the office, you can actually add a location if your uh, IT team sets that up with the different uh, meeting rooms and everything. And that will actually block off the times. So down below, let's go ahead and add a quick overview with the new marketing strategy. And you can add whatever you want. Add attachments, pictures, everything. And... Category, a few different categories, time zone, response, and the schedule assistant. So this is actually really nice because a lot of people are meeting throughout the day and you've got to find a time block for everyone. So I actually didn't set up like anything for these accounts, but in your organization, it's probably all set up. So you'll be able to see when everyone's in a meeting and you'll be able to find a time slot that works with everyone if you don't know um, don't know when people are in meetings and everything it will show you so we will go ahead and send this new meeting out and so let's all set we have a meeting oh i switched the time <laughs> so let's say i actually changed it to 12 30 but they will get email notifications uh via outlook saying hey you know here's a meeting then in the email you'll be able to accept um, set yourself to tentative or decline the meeting request and they'll automatically update in the back end in teams but that'll be how to create a teams meeting which is super helpful so if you guys like the video go ahead and subscribe uh, like comment and let me know if you want any video ideas but that'll be all for today's video so i'll catch you in the next one